Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my updated q and I haven't done a QA and a since last year in 2017 and since I have so many new subscribers I wanted to do an updated Q&A so you guys can get to know me better and I am going to be announcing my giveaway. I did announce that I was going to do a 1000 subscriber giveaway. I am so grateful and thankful for everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I love you guys vessels for everybody and yeah so i am gonna be announcing that at the end of the video giveaway so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and yeah let's get started with this q a Okay guys, so first things first, my name is Jasmine. Welcome to my beauty space. So basically what I film is beauty beauty uh, videos, fashion videos, and I also include vlogs here and there. I want to incorporate more vlogs into my channel because I know some people enjoy those. So I do want to incorporate more vlogs, especially when we go out and do things. I mean, my life is not that interesting uh, to vlog every single day, but I do want to film the times that we do go out we go to theme parks and stuff like that i i do want to film those because i feel like those are such good videos to look back at and just like oh my god we had so much fun those days like i want to I want to film those so I do film those videos and thank you guys all for subscribing to my channel I love you guys all vessels to everyone that has subscribed to my channel I am 29 years old I have a little girl that you guys do see in my videos once in a while because she walks in when I'm filming she's a three years old and I think she wants to be a youtuber because the other day i did catch her on her vanity um talking and saying that welcome to my channel and she's putting on lip gloss like she's a future youtuber um and yeah i have my little girl and then i have my hubby um some people were confused because they were like why are you calling him your hubby and then on my vision board i said that i want to be engaged i am not engaged we are not legally married but we do live together we do have a baby so i call him my hubby um but in the future i do i do want to have a wedding i do want to have that party celebrating the love um but yeah that's that's me my personal questions that people do ask um and yeah let's get started with the questions so let's start off with the questions that you guys left me i told you guys to leave me questions on my last video the current favorite video and leave me questions and you guys did i'm so excited that you guys did and the first question someone asked me was where were you born in what country and they said if you could go anywhere in the world what would it be um so i was born in chicago illinois um that was i was born there and i was raised there and my parents they're actually puerto rican they were born in puerto rico so my nationality is puerto rican um and if i can go anywhere i don't know. love to visit greece like i feel like greece is so beautiful like i've seen so many people visit there before and i'm like i want to go there like that will be somewhere that i would love to visit it's greece i would love to visit that place um the next question i have is who was your first beauty guru that you watched on youtube that is very interesting um i started watching videos because my sister was watching videos and she was telling me to watch videos so the first person that i ever watched well, there was two. There was Amanda Ensing, Amanda Ensing and Nicole Guerrero. Those two were like my first ones that I started watching. And then I kept up with them. And then they started slowing down with videos. And they were like, I mean, when you get up there, like you're like super famous and you're like the top influencers, You they tend to lack on filming videos sometimes. So when they started lacking on videos, that's when I start watching other people's videos and smaller YouTubers. And I enjoy those. Like I enjoy smaller YouTubers because they they're consistent. Like once 
beauty gurus get up there they just lack and they stop filming videos for some reason i don't know why but um but yeah like those were two of my favorite um youtubers when i first first started watching beauty videos but yeah i mean they're still my favorite i still watch them don't get me wrong but they're just not super consistent like they used to be which is it's a bummer but i still love them and then uh, someone asked me what made you start youtube um that's a good question because i'm a very shy and to myself like i'm very to myself i've never been an open person like to start a conversation with you i will not be that person because i've always been shy like i've always been shy like if you look at my yearbook in high school you will see that i won like the most shy because i was never that person that would talk a lot like i was very to myself like i didn't want to be too much I didn't want to talk too much like that was just me and I felt like I had to do something for myself to get out of that out of that comfort zone because I felt so comfortable being to myself and just leaving everyone out of it but you know I once I had the baby I was like no I need to be a little bit more open I need to open up I need to get out of my comfort zone and since I was getting so into makeup and all that stuff I was like you know what I want to film myself doing makeup and create a channel for those girls that feel uncomfortable about themselves but they want to they want to do something for themselves this is it like I got out of my comfort zone like I got out of that little bubble that I was in because I've always been that shy person and it was so hard to sit in front of the camera and be like hi guys like I it was just so hard but you know what with me being so consistent and filming videos and super inspired to film videos like i got out of that comfort zone really fast like i was like yes i want to film this video i want to do this and then having the interaction with you guys and leaving me comments like that just makes me smile like just knowing that you guys like my content and like the videos like that just brings my my day so good like i love to read your guys comments like don't ever hesitate to leave me a comment because i love to see you guys comment it just makes my day um so then the next question i have is what is your favorite part about being a youtuber um i think my favorite part about being a youtuber is that i make my own schedule i make my filming schedule i make my editing schedule like i can edit whenever i feel like it i don't feel like i have to be pressured to do it right there and then i love that i love the flexibility that i can have i can enjoy i can basically what i do for myself since i do have a child i usually film on the weekends and i take that time to film everything and then on the weekdays that's when i'll start editing like one day i'll edit one video and if i have time i'm i'm i probably edit like three videos in one day it depends um but yeah that's what i love about it i love the flexibility that i have with being a youtuber because i could just do so much stuff all at the same time like i'm not I'm not forced to sit at a table and just do whatever I need to do that time. Like, no, I can, I could do this and do that, do this. And like, I could do so many things. So I love the fact that I can do that. I have another question. Who's your favorite beauty YouTuber? I already answered that question. And then how old I am? I did answer that. I'm 29 years old and says, when did you get into makeup? That is a very good question. I was never into makeup. Like if you look back at grammar school high school i never wear makeup i never wear makeup throughout high school i just didn't like it it was just not my thing like you will catch me wearing like lip gloss and stuff like that but you will never see me with a full b makeup <laughs> look you would never see me because i was never into that now i started getting into it a little bit in college i started doing a little bit of eyeliner and you know a little bit of more like a powder stuff like that but i was never like full b like you would never see me in the street like with a full b face like you would never see me like that but so i would say like around college time that's when i started doing makeup and then full glam like everything in between that that's after i had the baby i started getting into makeup when i started losing weight i was super i i, I hate 
I hate using that word. I was super fat when I first had my baby. Like I was like su super insecure about myself, my body, but I was like, you know what? The only way I'm gonna get this weight off of me is if I work on myself. And I know how to lose weight because I've done it in the past. So I know I have to control myself eating. I have to move around, walk around, do this, do that. Like I know how I am and I know how my body is. So once I started losing that weight, I started getting into more makeup and more of all that full glam, lashes, everything. And I, I don't regret it because I love to show you guys the makeup looks. Now I'm not that beauty guru that does like super like flown blown like makeup looks but i do love to use colors once in a while and throw out some nice beautiful makeup looks for you guys but if you guys have any any requests for any makeup look please leave them down below and i will definitely do them i love to do videos that you guys request i always love to do them so don't hesitate to leave me some requests because i will do them it says what do you envision your youtube channel to be like in the future and what message do you envision for it beauty confidence and body positivity that is a good question also what uh okay she was talking about some jeans that i mentioned in my other video what i envision my channel being i want my channel to grow so much i want to build a family like on youtube like i want to have that like i want you guys to watch my videos if you're having a bad day if you're if you're not feeling good if you're not feeling um secure about yourself like i want you guys to come to my channel and feel um secure feel like you can get away from your problems like i want you guys to have a positive space to come to and i want my channel to be that like i want my channel to be a positive place that you guys can come to and just watch and just relax your mind and distract your mind from whatever is going on especially if you're having a bad day like that's what i want i want to build a family with you guys and i hope i can build that family so big that i i just gonna do like a big old like um what do you call those the um meet and greet like i would love to do like a meet and greet and just meet all of you guys like that would be that is like what i see in the future and i hope i i hope and i pray that i, I accomplish all those goals because i definitely can't wait to accomplish that goal but that's what i envision so the question was if i if i had any opportunities that would have what that would have not happened if i didn't have my youtube channel um i haven't got any big opportunities like i've worked and collabed with some brands but they're very small brands and you know i'm not getting paid for it but i collabed with them because i mean the product worked out good for me and i wanted to share it with you guys so <clears throat> I've done those but I mean I'm very grateful that they even reach out to me especially me being a very small youtuber but yeah I haven't got any big opportunities but I pray down the line in the future that I do get a big opportunity because I will love to work with any brand any brand like I will love um one of my favorite brands actually is wet and wild like that is my favorite brand like if I could ever work with them I would uh, question is <clears throat> uh, somebody put can you give can you give us a dry skin tip um i will definitely do a video um on dry skin um video and tips and tricks to um work with dry skin i will definitely do a video about that i'm telling you guys let me know can you not live without <laughs> that is a very good question because I take my skincare routine very serious and now I have to take it even more serious because for some reason I am breaking out like crazy and I don't know why maybe it's all that chocolate I'm eating who knows um but a skincare product that I cannot live without it has to be the Ovino night cream and it's the anti-aging cream and I feel like that cream is like amazing like i cannot live without it it's just so beautiful it makes my skin look so glowy when i put it at night like my skin looks amazing and the mario podescu lavender spray that's another plus plus because i always spray it right before i go to bed and i'm obsessed like i cannot put those two products down like i cannot live without them they're so good for the skin of makeup i love a lot of brands of makeup um but 
for a drugstore i think wet and wild is one of my favorite brands of makeup and i love a drugstore makeup like that is like my favorite my go-to i love drugstore because they're so affordable and they are so good and wet and wild has came out with so many good products like i'm obsessed with wet and wild like they are awesome so i definitely love wet and wild for drugstore for high end i would have to say for high end like that's kind of hard because i don't use a lot of high end makeup but like for foundation wise um huda beauty and nars have to be the two top two for high end but as a whole brand together i don't have that much for high end because like i said i'm more of a drug drugstore person i love drugstore you could throw a drugstore at me and i would love to use it like they're my go-to i love affordable makeup um but yeah but i have for my questions i hope you guys all enjoyed it and got to know me a little bit better um i love all of you guys thank you guys all for leaving me all those questions and now for the giveaway so so those two things follow me on instagram and subscribe to my channel and you are entered to my giveaway now today is saturday i'm gonna do this giveaway all the way until i'm gonna close it give me one second guys so today's the third i'm gonna close this giveaway on the 12th so the 12th march 12th this giveaway will be closed that is a monday and then i will be announcing it on wednesday because i don't upload on tuesdays i upload on wednesday so i'm gonna be picking the winner on monday march 12th and then on wednesday i will be announcing the giveaway winner now i'm gonna show you guys right here some of the goodies that are gonna be included in the giveaway i am gonna be also including a starbucks gift card and one more product i think it's gonna be an eyeshadow palette from morphe so those two products are missing but they will be included in the giveaway once i pick the winner they will be getting the gift card and the morphe palette so those are the products that i'm going to be giving away so if you guys want to enter the giveaway subscribe and follow me on instagram and you will be entered to the giveaway so i hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i will see you all in my next video bye loves